Okay, so in this video, we're gonna to put together our Holly gift box. And it's a very simple box. And actually, um, whether or not you want to glue this together is completely optional, but I've already got it folded, okay? And the way this works is, um, you're gonna fold these two sides in first. They're gonna meet like that. You've got a little tab here and a little slot for your ribbon. Okay, now there's two sides to this. One is rounded, one is square. The rounded part's gonna go on first, and then the square part's gonna go on. Okay, so there's your box, and it's just, it's held closed, um, just like that. Okay, so like I said, you technically don't even need to glue this if you don't want to. Um, but we do have some little pieces that go on top here. Okay, so you can actually, Let's take this off. This part is gonna go on first, okay? And you can see that there's a, a little slit on this. And look what I have. I ran out to the mailbox today and I got a package from my friend and Dreaming Tree customer, Chris from Fort Myers. And I thought she sent me a giant shot glass to enable drinking, but it turns out that it's a holder for my glue. So thank you, Chris. I really enjoy our texting and our conversation. You're always fun to, fun to talk to. And thank you for supporting the website. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna take this part here and glue that on there. Just make sure you're not obstructing that tab there. And then we've got this piece here the little holly leaves. We're gonna do the same thing. And we're just gonna put our glue on this square part here. And you'll notice that I already kind of bent these into shape. There's a series of score marks on these leaves and you wanna just basically pinch them. Let me make sure that I'm getting that lined up. Just make sure you're not obstructing the little slit there, okay? And then I took and I pinched these at the folds to give them dimension. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to do that as well. Just like that. Make sure that that gets a good chance to set. Okay, and let's poke that through again. Poke this through again. Okay, so that's how that's gonna look. All right, and we do have some berries as well. I have um, some rhinestones that I glued on. There's two pieces like this. Here are my little rhinestones. Um, I already put these on. They're already glued down. I'm gonna dab this. And you want the two on the inside and the one on the outside. There's a little notch there, a little round notch that that is gonna line up with. So you wanna put that down like that. And the reason I did it this way is because I'm gluing this on glitter and this is a little bit heavier. Um, so it should add a little extra weight so that it sticks a little bit quicker. But if you're not using any embellishments or rhinestones, you wanna just go ahead and put some glue on the bottom of this. And again, right here, there's a little round little um, segment of these leaves where that lines up with this little piece here. I'm just gonna push and hold that down until it's dry. And again, just pinch these and flare them out so that they really stand out. And when you're gluing the cardstock to the glitter, just give it some extra time um, I'm gonna pop these on. If you're doing this, you probably should put some glue under this as well to help kind of reinforce this. I'm mean, gonna need more than that. Okay, just get that on there. Like that. Get that one on there. Like that. Okay and let those set as well. And it's a really dainty little box, but it's cute. 
And as you can see, that really didn't even want to stay because of that glitter. So let's throw down some more glue. And you got to be really patient while this sets. Otherwise, it won't. It'll just come undone. So be patient with that while it dries. If you're using glitter, if you're using just standard paper, you should be fine. Um, and this is perfect for some jewelry, a little necklace, maybe a ring, um, you know, anything really small. We wanted to give you guys in this new bundle um, some options for various sized gifts. And look at, I still, by habit, it's gonna take me a little while to get that, to make that um, a habit there, Chris, so. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is it's just gonna create a little bow here and I'm gonna feed that through the little slit there. Okay, I want, I'm just gonna cut off. Okay, we're gonna tie this in a knot. And that's gonna hold this closed. And then I'm just gonna create a little bow, kinda like you're tying your shoes. Okay, that's really big. I need it to be nice and small and dainty, just like the box. Keep your bow in proportion to the size of the box. Okay, I'm gonna get my tail under here. Tighten that up a little bit. Still not totally in love with the size there. That's a little better. And just tighten that. Pretty much it. Okay, pull my tail down. There we go. And I'm just gonna trim that. Actually, I'm gonna trim it up here. I don't want this to be too long. Where is it? There we go. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's a very simple box. If you do want to glue it, you can glue the little tabs inside um, together, but there is your little box. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.